You might think, where's the halls, guy? I want to see a hall, said no one ever, because that's our lowest views. <laughs> and the answer is, we can't go a month without a hall, guy. Yeah. Because that's just the way that I am. <laughs> hey, beep. So uh, it's media hall time, guy. Yeah. So uh, let's see what we got in store. Uh, we're going to start with the classic. Uh, I was going to start with my stuff, and I will right after I show what you yeah, got. The classic. This uh, uh, classic 90s rap album, Christian rap album, yeah, no less. Gillum. Uh, from Gillum. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this art. It's pretty good. This... This, this, little this right guy there, right, there. right there. Look at that how pointy that foot is. It they just stretched this boy out over here. It reminds me of our boy, the Guardian, when he hits on people. Yeah, he does that he foot. He does that little foot guy. This has got to be the most 90s cover Yeah. And, ever. Uh, in case you're wondering where our opening song came from, it came <laughs> from the classic Gillum album, The Way Which That I Am. The <laughs> Way That I Am. Yeah, this is one of the worst things we've ever heard. How bad? Uh, we have the word in here yeah, because just that's more... just better for us. But um, we're gonna we're gonna die yeah. uh, by listening to that later. So anyway, uh, let's go through this little batch of your shit here that you have here. Uh, you got uh, Bratman. Bratman. Bratman, dude. He just eats a bunch of fucking Brats. hot dogs. Oh god, his face. Hate it. Yeah, he's just a hater here. Batman, Brave and the Bold. This is some like the kitty Batman one. Yeah, it was more like comedic. Oh, this is pretty comedic, guy. Eh? Is it? You know what else is comedic? You know why he's crying on this cover? Because mm, Amber Heard's some, dead! Somebody shit on his fucking bed and that yeah. somebody was Amber Heard, guy. Cry Baby, a classic uh, uh, John Waters, uh, not so disgusting film. Classic. As yeah. per his use. <laughs> Pretty cool. Found that at a Goodwill, too, mm. where, uh, in case you're wondering, uh, Gillum was. Brad, Brad where, Gillum? Where Gillum lived. Brad <laughs> Gillum. We've researched Gillum, by the way. Yeah, we found too. out that his name is Brad by his oh dope raps, by the way, he actually mentions his name yep. in his Brad uh, in his Brad raps, <laughs> well in his bad raps. But uh, we his also bad Brad raps. we also looked him up and found almost no information. We do know he's a science teacher. But he somewhere. is a science teacher, <laughs> and that uh, people occasionally find out that he's Gillum, and then they're like, "Oh yeah, you're Gillum. That's so, a guy." So our theory is that he performs in class. He has to, guy. If he doesn't, he sucks. He's like, "Boy, then." Speaking I of people am. that suck, but then they kind of made something cool. So, really not anything to do with Gillum. Nope. Uh, Men at Work. Yeah. Charlie Sheen pretty much sucks. But he's in a bunch of cool stuff every now and then. Kinda and this is an 80s man. classic guy. It sucks. It's made it's... in the 90s, but <laughs> it's an 80s classic. <laughs> it's pretty bad, but it's pretty fun. If you want to see Keith David be angry, then mm -hmm. this is the way to go. And that's a good thing. Dollar Tree fine. Dollar Tree fine. This is a, what, some bullshit game called Saints Row the Third, which has Keith David? It does. Yeah. Oh, no, that's part four. Oh. Yeah. Never mind. Wow, this one still. Has, family. This family, one has family, RVD. Family. family. Who? RVD. That's weird. Yeah. That's really weird. Okay, well, that's your little batch. You got another batch there. Let me get through my little batch here. Uh, we get, I found this at, uh, was this at Gillum? Yeah, I did. No. Where was this? Where was oh, this the... was another Goodwill. Not yeah, the yeah, Gillum not, Will. The, not the Gill Will. Uh, Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. Hilarious, a surprisingly hilarious movie. Mm. Uh, a Star is Born with uh, uh, Brad Gillum Cooper. It's, it's definitely not uh, Brad Gillum's uh, story. A Star uh, is Born. Yeah, definitely. Oh, man. That star wouldn't even. This star is still in the nutsack, yeah. guy. You can find some Brad Gillum videos online, is all I'm going to say. Mm -hmm. Who is it? It's the G to the I A double L U M. Gillum blowing up with the brand new jam. And I gotta be bold to speak the truth. Cause I cannot deny my fellow you. Thoughts! So, uh, this movie's notable because uh, apparently uh, Bradley Cooper became insanely obsessed with Gaga. Mm. Uh, because he, like, really got into the role. Mm. And she was like, this is weird. So that's the thing. What are you, Brad Gillum? <laughs> what are you, a raccoon? Um... Got this that's at Walmart. Foot, by the way, that squeak. That's your foot that fucking stinks. <laughs> so do mine. Anyway, uh, we, <laughs> I got this Jason Statham 50 pack. Now, I'm going to admit, I like Statham, don't get me wrong, but uh, he's in a lot of fucking shitty movies, and there's a lot of those aforementioned shitty movies here. The only reason I got this is because online is kind of, some people are selling for really high prices. So it was mad cheap at Walmart, and I got it because it has Crank 1 and 2. Yeah. And especially 2 because that had a notorious initial Blu-ray release where it only played in a tiny little screen like that unless you, you know, did, downloaded something or added a little USB there. Whatever, I, I just wanted that. Yeah. So, you know, 
Does it come with the Brad Gillum story? In it? Uh, it does. It's, you mm, know, a special feature, cool. only special feature, and right. it's crammed at the highest rate. <laughs> so everything is just like super pixels. Everything, the movies, pixels. Yeah. Brad Gillum feature, pixels. <laughs> <laughs> just high quality ones. I uh, found this for nine bucks, guy. Come on, guy. Thoughts? They Where? only had one, two. Where? At uh, Walmart. What? Yeah. Suicide Squad. So that's pretty cool, gang. Green Knight, an A24, uh, 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 kind of like fantasy uh, mm-hmm. uh, flick of sorts. I hear Al hates it. Uh, yeah, I think he said, uh, fuck that shit. And I was like, come on, guy, you suck. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have here uh, a movie with Anna Ferris, which I found at Goodwill. And uh, that's the only reason I got it. Mm. You know, I, I really know nothing about this. I knew nothing about this, but I did see it, and it's pretty fun. It's like one of those raunchy... Like, you know, like the Apatow era raunch, uh, you know, but uh, like a rom-com. Rom-com? And it has com? way too much of Chris Evans' ass. Yeah, that's too much. I'm talking like I know every nook and cranny of his butthole guy. Howdy? I mean, he's not an unattractive guy. If I were gay, I would not fuck Chris Evans, though. But I know a lot of chicks and, and gay lords would, you know. That's not an insult in our book, but a gay lord, mm-hmm. that means you're, like, you're a you're king. You're a lord of gays. You're a lord of gays prime gay man yeah. would definitely fuck Chris Evans but I'd be a scrub of a gay man yeah. and I wouldn't maybe because I've seen too much of his fucking butthole <laughs> it's cool. you're gonna say culo obviously culo yeah culo mm. Chris culo Evans mm. was his nickname in the somewhere <laughs> college I don't know uh, this is a movie that I've been trying to get for a long ass time and I finally found a copy on the secondary market that wasn't a, you know my arm mm. and it just happened to be the four disc ultra limited version because there's like a billion versions but they're all limited to some regard but it i was like why is this and it broke my little heart again because i found out that this is a trauma release trauma of course is an independent film company that a lot of uh uh ass lords like us Cur- love. currently represented on my bow dice yes uh most famously known for the toxic avenger and uh they also rarely produce other people but sometimes they do but they do release a lot of indie stuff and uh, this movie was made by a team that included, uh, uh, I always get his name wrong, Steve Kostansky? Kostanza, yeah. Um, from, the, that made Psycho Gorman. And they were big trauma fans and they, they, you know, they were given a little budget, super little budget to work on this. And they did the whole shtick. And then founder of trauma, father of trauma, Uncle Lloyd Kaufman, apparently he fucking screwed them, guy. Yeah, dude. He was selling copies of their movie, this one. On the down low and not giving them anything. And they're like, that sucks. Does it. So, uh, anyway. They made some deal where they could... The deal was, you're going to release a very limited amount of them. And that's it. And uh, finally got my hands on one. For cheap. Yeah. So that's cool. Give me some of your, more of your, your, your media. Well, I got, I got the, more media over here. But we, we got to spread the love, guy. I got the greatest thing ever. And that's uh, <laughs> the King of Queens. <laughs> now, I did used to watch, uh, uh, what was his name? The fucking, uh, Kevin uh, Afternoon. Kevin James. Or? Kevin, Kevin James, James. Kevin James uh, classic uh, series back in the day. And uh, it was one of those things that I both hated and loved. And I found this for literally $2. And I was like, damn, homie, I'm going to get it. I hate it, guy. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it could be worse, but I, I hate it. And it's <laughs> kind of like the show that made me... And dislike, uh, what's the stupid name? Pat Oswalt. Pat Oswalt. Yeah, he was pretty annoying in it. Uh, I was indifferent to him beforehand, but this kind of made me hate him. I hate it. I hate everything about it. I used to watch the shit out you of it, dude. fucking did. loved it, guy. Now but I have 27 <laughs> discs worth of it. <laughs> I mean, it was cheap. Yeah. Four bucks, right? Two bucks. Two actually. bucks, even better. For something awful. Mm-hmm. Brad Gillum was two bucks, and that's Damn, god awful. it was. Uh, but, next. I got a shitty sitcom, so I had to get a good sitcom. Do, do, and do, that's do. Uh, my boy Seinfeld. Well, actually, I hate Jerry yeah, Seinfeld. Look, let's be honest here, guy. Everybody knows it. It's it's no secret that Jerry Seinfeld, the man, Fuck is balls. kind of a fucking douchebag. Yeah. But uh, this is one of the great sitcoms of all time. I got uh, Seinfeld. Four, four seasons of them. Well, uh, really, five, because this one has season one and two. And we got eight and nine over here. So. And what's that one? Six? Uh, three. Three. So the the bookends of the series yeah. basically, and just to just to I don't want to say rub salt in the wound, but mm-hmm. to rub salt in Miles' face, <laughs> not his wound, <laughs> his face. 
These were sealed at a Goodwill, shockingly. So they should have the disc yeah. that's always missing in his. Yeah, it's always missing in his, but yeah. I found them sealed. Imagine so I had, it's I had not in there. Dude, that would suck if it was missing. Yeah, Seinfeld's fucking great. There's no lying. And, God, man, you'd think with Jerry being a jerk in real life and Kramer basically, uh, you know, <laughs> going off the deep end, uh, everybody would be like, fuck Seinfeld, but not home. No, they still love it. I think the fact that, you know, everybody kind of knows that Larry David was the real, yeah, the real genius behind it behind has it. helped. But uh, there's that. Let's get some more media over here. Of course, I also picked up Brad Gillum. Gillum in the house. Mm. Yeah, he sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I found basically... Everything that I was missing in my Marvel collection, and because of my determination not to pay Disney a fragging cent, this was a this was a windfall, guy. I I, I got all these for a, uh, the total of not even one Marvel movie. Yeah, no shit. Because they're usually going for twenty to thirty sometimes. So I got uh, First Avenger, classic, classic Chris Evans ass. Classic with a crappy ending. Yeah. Oh man, yeah, that ending sucked. Classic. The classic. Captain America Winter Soldier. Now, I have a copy of this, but this is, you oh, know, yeah, yeah, me... got a nice little slip kit. I'm not going to give you this one. I'm going to give you oh, my yeah. janked up one. It, it's, it's brand new, basically. Jack. I even took off the, the ring for you. I had a Ringo? rental copy. Uh, Civil War. Classic. Pretty cool. Classic Chris Evans ass. Ant-Man. He's a guy. Pretty cool. Yeah, uh, Thor The Dark World that everybody hates, a movie. but I didn't hate it all. Avengers Age of Ultron, which is mad corny. It's got Spader. Uh... Incredible Hulk. Pretty cool. Which, uh, you know. Oh, oh yeah. and then the and dance. And this is... scuffed up ass, kind of gross to the touch. The Copy dance. of American Gangster. I'm a Denzite his, and his, I'm a Ridley Scott. His freaky finger represented. And, and hmm. I'm a Russell Crowe. What? It's a triple whammy for me and it's in con- ensconced in dirt. You're also always hanging around muck and and, uh, and filth. So it makes perfect Curse sense. of your verijas. Yeah. <laughs> and Gilbo. <laughs> Uh, so there's that. And then I found some books at the Good Will. I found this Bentley Little book, The Association. I have a love-hate relationship with it. Nah, I wouldn't even say love. I have a. I liked one of his books mm. and forever have been hoping to like one as much, but have only encountered weirdness since, and then some that are okay. But mostly, like, come on, guy. Uh, the Association. So that's a good uh, recommendation there. Uh, Janet Ivanovich's Seven Up, part of her number series, uh, Stephanie Plum novels, if you will. Hilarious, guy. I don't care what anyone says. I know they're mass market popularity, but they're fucking funny, guy. Speaking of which, I got the movie tie-in oh, version man. to the adaptation of the first one of the, which was so bad. The film. The film, yeah. This is hilarious, but the film was so bad that it just died on the vine right there, oh. guy. They're like, nope, we're never making one of those again. And it was also Catherine Heigl starring as Stephanie Plum, which is... No, I don't want to be one of those guys that's like, looks nothing like the person. I'm not saying that. But that's kind of like adding insult to injury when your movie sucks nut. Yeah. So she's, the movie sucks. And on top of that, you can't give in a character that looks like her or acts like her. Uh, she just kind of sucks in this. But we all know Catherine Heigl is apparently a wretched fucking Chibis? person. Yeah. Um, Matt would bang, mind you, but uh, no, I'd bang, I no. but um, yeah, I figured this is a good way to read it because I have an original hardcover, so fuck it. Found uh, at the, at the Gillum Goodwill, I uh, found uh, a Robert R. McCammon a hardcover gone south, pretty cool. This guy wrote a, a book called Swan Song that is basically the stand, mm. Stephen King's The Stand, only like CD, it's pretty much like a scummy version of The Stand. So I don't know. I haven't read any of his other stuff, but uh, I don't know. Figured I'd pick that up again. Find it's out. It's a remainder copy, so that's cool. It's a remainder copy. Thanks a lot for doing that, stupid bookstores. Who does that? This is not a remainder copy, shockingly. Uh, we got a Jen Ivanovich Top Secret 21, another Stephanie Plum novel. Said all I have to say about that, except that they're clearly smoothing the shit yeah, out of her. Yeah, dude. She's CGI. inhuman. She looks like... A Demi Lovato clone yeah, before, you know, Demi turned into a she-beast. She-beast. Or they-beast, whatever it is identified. What is... What's it going is? on with Demi, guy? Yeah, it's not good. Alien beast? I'm not a Demite, per se, but, you know, what the hell? Oh, yeah, she's communicating with aliens now? Somewhere. Yeah, dude. So this is cool, guy. I had the first two novels of, of this Guillermo del Toro co-written series, but mm-hmm. I could never find the third one. Did and you I, 
A yeah. joke only you get? Yep. Uh, the Night Eternal. It's part three of his Strain series. Uh, it mm. is a book club version, so it's going to be shorter than my other ones. But, uh, you know, I could never find it. And it's kind of torn up. But whatever, guy, you know. <clears throat> just want to read the damn thing. This was a good one, guy. Look what I found at a fucking Gillum Will. <laughs> Gillum Will. This copy yeah. of Lord of the Rings with Man, super gay that's Frodo. Gay Frodo. What is this? <laughs> Remember that part of Lord of the Rings? Showing you his titty gay? He looks like Michael Jackson, guy. Yeah, a little bit. Remember no, when Frodo? Like Henry Cavill and Michael Jackson mixed. Yeah, that's kind of weird. It's I guess we got Aragorn the on the spine there. That's Aragorn. And uh, we got uh, Randolph. Grandalf the Grey. Grandalf. Grand Elf, as our friend uh, the Guardian yeah, call would it. call him. And then We're not d- idiots. D- deny that he ever did back in the day. Yeah. This is pretty cool. This is an early 90s hardcover version, but I'm a, of course, big ringite. Or what What do they call them? Ringers? They try uh, to coin that phrase. That's lame. Uh, but this was a cool find, man, for a fucking a buck gang. What if you watch the new Amazon show and the Brings of Power all freaking cock rings? <laughs> I'll tell you what. Didn't work for me. Hey, um, is that, Girl. Was that what that clink was right now? Mm-hmm. Macaque ring falling off a tiny ass ding. <laughs> Slid off. Uh, we got a Gone Girl, a Gillian Flynn novel. Uh, you know, adapted into a Your Boy joint. <laughs> ben Affleck joint. Great movie. So I'm interested to see how the novel holds up. I'm sure it'll be cool. I mean, it was like selling everywhere. So that's the thing. Uh, I think that's it, guy. Am I in there, guy? Nah, homie, there's this also. You still got your bachelor, don't you? No, I'm already done. That's it. Oh, oh yeah, then don't forget Gillum, guy. Brad Gillum. <laughs> so anyway, uh, clearly Gillum is the greatest thing we got. Yeah. Let us know what you think was the famous thing. Gillum. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and the coolest thing, uh, you know. Because we're out. <laughs> These music stupid sounds all kinds of shit for you. Anything goes inside tonight. Don't cup of corpulent juice. Times, all kinds of shit for you. Everything goes inside tonight.